You must go back. Are you crazy? I like killing sprees as much as the next guy, but we barely got out of there alive. What about Gamora? She, she made a choice. So you're just gonna abandon her? I am Groot. Don't talk like that. That's not what this is about. Isn't it, though? We're supposed to be a team. Teams don't leave people behind. Tell that to the giant Kratakan army of robots and brainwashed believers we barely got away from! Yes. How'd you get back? It doesn't matter. I failed. Raker lives. For now. We have to go back. We can't leave Nikki. Blah, blah, Flarkin, blah. What? It's true. Guess what? Some pseudo pre. If we go back there, we're dead. D. I rather die. Crawled up her butt and died. I am good. So, get the flark out of Dodge? Not yet. I am good. Great plan, only he ain't answering the passport. Okay, but what choice do we have? We don't have comms. Well, actually, we uh, might have comms. It turns out they weren't as flarked as I originally thought. Really? Groot should be able to race. Sounds like murder mom's feeling more stabby than usual. Hey! Better not slice through anything in that cargo bay! We ain't restocking anytime soon! You all right there, Drax? I am pondering that question. And that makes total sense. After what happened with Nikki and that twisted promise, having to watch the people we love die all over again... My family did not simply die. They were murdered. By Thanos. I think I'm... I do not wish to discuss it. Shoo, shoo. Move over. What are you looking at? Oh no. You ain't chewing through any more of my ship. My ship? <laughs> shoo! Flark off! Wow. That panel must have looked really tasty. What's it for, anyways? Emergency door controls for the ship. Something a ship owner should know. Hey, do I look like an engineer? You don't. Hey, Rocket, you got a minute? Let's see what we can make with the parts you've got. Why do you tease me with crafting, Quill? No, the wires look tasty, but they're not for eating, all right? Ask Drax for a ration pack if you're hungry. Watch! Hey! Gamora! Go away, Peter. Come on. Just thought I'd check. Talk about it? I don't need a pep talk. Okay. What? Oh, you come on. I oh, the. Oh, about. Actually, really. Could you move? Can't exactly complete a routine if you're walking about. In case it wasn't clear, you're in the way. I need space. One whole arm. That's what? 10% of Raker down? And I say we leave the other 90% alone. Can't say I ain't glad I get to dissect this little marvel. But that's as close as I'm getting to this Flarkin cult ever again. Um. 
How about you, bud? You doing okay? <laughs> Are you sure? We saw some... You and Rocket should definitely talk. I'm glad... Anything yet? Guardian of Galaxies. Cosmo, buddy. Where have you been? We've been calling you. Sorry, Pyotr Quill. Cosmo... What? Are you okay? He's fine for a moment. Cosmo receive warning in time. He's been dead, huh? Your little detective trip almost got us. Net. Go to Zen. Cosmo, un... Cosmo, are you there? What happened? Are we under attack? So these are the cowards who defiled Lady Hellbender's honor. Oh, good. And who the flark are you? Normally, I would not engage in conversation with inferior life forms. But my contract with Lady Hellbender stipulates otherwise. Therefore, abomination. You may refer to the Lethal Legion. <laughs> A Lethal Legion? He surrounded us. Listen, I get that Lady Hellbender's super pissed, but now's really not the best. Did you think that she would ease her bounty simply because you somehow managed to elude the Blood Brothers in nowhere? Yes. Then you are as imbecilic as they are. Lady Hellbender's sins are eliminated. No, you prepare. <laughs> Smooth. Uh <sighs> Hit them hard and give no quarter. There's nothing on that garbage scout. Guys, I think they sent the non-lethal legion. Drop out and get a better angle if it gets too hot. I got this, trust me. Private Morning Glory is running his mouth again. Feel free to show off, Quill. They insulted my baby. Just make sure you're shooting while you do it. Where's Drax the Destroyer? My bounties are fine as you. Ain't a bad question. Hang in there, bud. They ain't killed us yet. These ships ain't dying fast enough. This is as fine as in the galaxy. I am Groot. Stop barking orders, Groot. You don't even know how to fly her. These guys have... Hit them hard and give no quarter. There's nothing on that garbage scout worth salvaging. Bird, find us a channel with left butthole content. The blockers are forcing it open somehow. Feel free to panic. Your dying cries will be recorded as proof of your demise. Ah! Guys, I think we sent the non-lethal legion. Ah! Time to back off, Cap. I never back off. Boom! Ah. Drop out and get a better angle if it gets too hot. Or feel free to point the guns right at him and charge. I am Groot. Stop barking orders, Groot. You don't even know how to fly her. Ain't dying fast enough. That's a fixable problem. Only one lethal lame brain left. One is all we need. That don't even make sense. We just wasted a ton of you. Woo! <laughs> Who's the inferior life form now, huh? Feels kind of good to have bounty hunters Peter, after us. It means we're I'm making a name for ourselves, right? What? It appears I'll have to finish this myself. 
So you defeated my fighters. My cruiser will crush you. That's it? That's what you've been bragging about? What do you mean? <laughs> Nothing. It's... Oh. I'm sure it's very comfortable. I will not be mocked! Then do something about it. Lady Skullsuit has the worst block in timing! Is she here? Buster Goons! This time! That did some real damage. Keep hitting his exhaust ports. Your strategy will work. Thanks. You just confirmed that it will. It's starting to feel like we pissed off the whole galaxy. Feel that, Guardians? Nope. Not a thing. The Milano definitely felt it. Scrapsacks care if the galaxy's under siege. You know, contractors. We're contractors! He proves his point. We just tried to dump the problem on somebody else. Ugh. Keep up the barrage. They will not survive it. Just kill them already! There's an art to this! Ha! Quill just tried the kill splay for the deadliest woman in the galaxy! Protect our points. This guy's starting to sound like rock. It's called language efficiency, Quill. We really gotta take better care of the Milano. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> really pissing me off. I am Clary, warrior of. Skull Scott. I doubt we've seen the last of her. We'll worry about Lady Hellbender later. Let's just focus on getting to Xandar. Punch it! Yep. Old girl needs a tune-up. We can do it once we reach the station. I ain't letting no bucket head near my... Wow. Talk about cosmic gridlock. I haven't seen this many ships around Xandar since the start of the Galactic War. Open channel, Groot. Let's see what's going on. I am Groot. I believe our skies are young. Need access to facilities. Swell not to lift you. Won't you sell us now? These ships come from converted worlds. They're refugees. I need immediate docking permission. Please answer us. Groot, that's enough. I don't see any rescue shuttles coming out. They're ignoring them. No. No, 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 no. Nova Corps might be a bunch of self-righteous dome heads, but they're, they're supposed to be helping folk. That's their whole flark and deal. Relax, Rocket. We'll just call the station and ask to speak to the world mind. Groot. <sighs> Welcome to Novacore headquarters. Please state your preferred language of communication. Groot. I know, bud, but now we can all follow along with Starpants mistakes. How may we assist you? We need to reach the world mine, Peter. We should report what Raker is up to. Think the Flark in world mine doesn't already know? Maybe not oh, every. Flark, you! We are aware of the current threat, but can devote no resources toward fighting it. Just pick something, Peter. Congratulations, Congratulations on your decision to join the Corps. To begin, state your full name, designation, or serial number. Richard Ryder. Star Lord. This strategy is futile. Oh, come on, muscle trains. That ah, might work. Not today. Please state your celestial body 
or artificial installation of origin. Someplace! Earth! I continue to doubt this strategy. Finally, in a few words, describe, describe what made you want to join Nova Corps. Because I'm a sucker. Justice. Looks like the best AI in the world couldn't parse that. Nope. Stop, boys. Alright, so that was fun, but a complete waste of time. Any other ideas? After scanning your ship, our near-perfect algorithms pre-selected several officer choices. Nova's profiling us? The allocation of resources for direct communication with us has been denied. We apologize for the inconvenience. Well, it was worth a shot. Let's try something else. I know! Let's join the Corps and rob them! Only, Only one, one application per cycle is permitted, permitted and you, you cannot, cannot resume a cancelled application. Groot. Groot wants you to pick World Mind. Scroll down! Scroll down! Hey! Your cop girlfriend is still listed here. You should, uh... Rocket! Oh, right. She's, uh, dead. <gasps> Scroll back up! I think I saw someone interesting. Does that say Nova Prime? Any idea which one? Who even cares? I know! Let's join the Corps and rob them! Because that went so well with Lady Hellbender. How about future crime? Great idea! Thank, Thank you for being proactive. However, the galaxy's impending doom makes all future crimes irrelevant. We should tell them about the promise. Right, as if none of these other ships ain't already blasting about it all over the comms. I can't believe this option doesn't work. This is the core they should be helping. Hey, Woolberry, got any ideas? Ugh, I hate bureaucracy. Peter, I think everyone here is too busy or dead to answer. Nova, Nova number 11249-44396 is out of our sensor range and unavailable for contact. Richard Ryder. Sounds Terran. You seriously don't know who he is? I have yet to meet a Terran of any interest. This menu again? Perhaps we should try another menu. Cadet Nicolette Gold's communication privileges are suspended while we investigate her involvement in unsanctioned cult activity. You should force your spawn to answer us. I can't do that. She's independent. Now, there's got to be some way to reach him. Keep pressing things, Quill. Turning ourselves in would get their attention? No. Connecting to banking services. Connecting to banking services. I can't believe that worked. Guardians of the Galaxy. Explain yourselves. Hey, World Mind, long time no see. It's me, Peter Quill, Star Lord. And, uh, it's Guardians of the Galaxy. Check the addendum. We need your help. To pay a fine? No. No, of course not. You need to save the, the galaxy. galaxy. cannot be saved, Peter Quill. What? A mass delusion known as the Promise is sweeping, sweeping its systems, converting all who encounter it. In less than three, three cycles, it has spread from the crew of a single star frigate to multiple outposts. Worlds and systems. Praxis 9, Rigel 3. 75.222% of the Andromeda, Andromeda galaxy. galaxy, all lost. Of course, she don't mention Contraxia. They, actually, the world mind is collective consciousness. Look, we know who's behind the promise. We've seen it happening up close and personal. We're here to pass on information to you so you can stop it. How can we be more clear? The Universal Church of Truth cannot be stopped. Told you, they're a collective. It is a machine. Yeah, well, so are parts of me. 
And you better not call me in it. Look, we just escaped the church's mothership. We have a ton of intel you can use to bring them down. There is nothing you can tell us we do not already know. Pretty sure I know a few things that even a supercomputer can't know. Such as? Well, how to groom the feathers on a Shi'ar warbird, for starters. Are you still alive? Because I know how to groom the feathers. Yeah, well, I know where you can buy hack Novacore helmets at ridiculously discounted prices. What? They obviously don't know about it, or they do something. The point is, we've lived things, experienced things. We've survived the promise, and maybe our experience can be used to help you bring them down. It is possible. We have overlooked the value of individual experiential memories stored within our files. Good. So let's pull resources. However, given the ill-defined parameters of such a query, undertaking a search protocol at this time is advised. Now, if you will excuse us. The Universal Church of Truth's forces draw closer to this region of space. It is critical that we depart before they arrive. You're running away? What about the refugees? You're just gonna leave them defenseless? Our primary directive is the preservation of Xandarian culture. All else is secondary. <laughs> Have you seen what your planet looks like? Xandarian culture is a lost cause! But you're Nova Corps' leader. You have a duty to protect this galaxy. That is incorrect. You ain't the leader of the Bucketheads? We do, we do not have a duty to protect this galaxy. We merely police it to get advanced knowledge of potential threats. Serve and protect only yourselves. A logical byproduct of our primary directive. You have officers all over the galaxy laying down their lives for you. And you won't even risk fighting for their sake? The risk is too great. It would, it would be, be a pointless, pointless sacrifice. For unknown reasons, the Church is stockpiling resources. Its influence has grown beyond all probabilistic models. Then update your models. We can cannot adjust our computations to the enemy's nonsensical power source. You mean faith energy? Faith, as an energy source, is logical. We are unable to compute scenarios to fight that which should not exist. So you're just gonna let the church win? If the power source cannot be quantified, it cannot be countered. Most sentient beings don't have the luxury of calculating their odds before getting into a fight. Don't you control the Nova Force, the magical energy that powers Nova Core? It is not magical. But yes. Then how do you explain that one? Because to an outsider, it doesn't seem logical at all. Thanos used to say it was generated by the living computers of Xandar. The, the living, living computers of Xandar are the Nova Force. Force. It exists because we exist, and we exist, therefore it does. Sounds like you're able to harness your collective energy just like Raker with other people's faith. Maybe the way you do it can tell you how the Church does. Perhaps. You, you have, have given us new data to consider. Guardians of the Galaxy, we will. Later. Right now, we need to focus on our departure. You're still leaving? We did not. Not what? Great. So, no one? We are, we are pleased. You reached this. It appears that our travel preparation. No, 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 wait! Classic Nova Corps. Ain't helped us then, you won't help us now. What? Are you kidding me? Groot says the Flarkin helpline's still asking for fine money. <sighs> All right, let's get this over with. Confirm payment. Oh, what? Whole universe is about to end and you spend our cash on a Nova Corps fine. Look, dude, the church is about to come for all of us. Once that disabler goes off, we'll be sitting ducks. All right, at least we got that sorted. Let's get out of here. Peter, we've got movement. I'm Groot. They're taking off. 
Qua well, see. <sighs> we I Peter. Gotta get clear first. Come on. And go. What did you do? I don't know. Why have we stopped? The loser legion. Hi, Groot. Guys, it's only a matter of time. Sacrosanct is back there. We can't just sit here. Nice. And how are we gonna do that? We're dead in the fucking water. And if they find us, we're screwed. Freely accepted. Oh Ooh. yeah, and without an engine, we're screwed. Guys, anyway. guys, guys, guys! Enough! Just stop already! I can't hear myself think. Rocket, fix the engines. How am I supposed to do that? I can't even run a diagnosis. I don't care! Just fix it! Scoff. And what are we supposed to do? I don't know. Fine. Don't. I need some rest. Screw Nova Corps. Shouldn't have counted on them in the first place. Drax, I, uh... I do not wish to talk. Fair enough. We're all pretty spent, just... Try to get some rest if you can. Look, it's our great leader. Really? How did you... Come on, girl. Shoo, shoo. What the f... That's how you got in? this? How are you... me? Come on! The Talking Raccoon's waiting for you! Everybody is! Uh, Rocket, yeah, he was... fixing that thing that broke. Hey, if we're some kind of big space hero now, why are we running from the bad guys? <sighs> it's complicated. No, it's not! Stop running! And we've landed! Uh... <sighs> Groot wanted to let you sleep. Can you believe it? Oh, how long was I out? Long enough to fly us all the way to the quarantine zone. Wait, how do we fly out here? Quill, do you want to fix your ship or not? My ship! Yes, your ship. Come on, the others are outside. Is everyone outside already? Yep, waiting for us. There, let's go!
Look who stumbled out of bed. The rodents made decisions in your sleep. Yeah, yeah, I know. Took you long enough? What? Nikki? You're not supposed to be here. You promised you would get me out of here. I know, but... Drax, I don't... You have accepted her promise, have you not, Peter Quill? Uh... Not exactly. But, but, but not because I don't want to. It's just... I have questions. I understand. The Matriarch's promise is overwhelming. Overwhelming? It all... Yet! Yeah. I will give you time, Peter Quill. However, I'm in the rodent was I must eliminate them. Wait! Why? Because <laughs> they're our family, man. Just give them a chance. It's a lot to process. You and you man. Very well, Peter Quill. Good. Uh, good. That's. That's, that's great. Um, I'll, I'll let the others know. No. I will fetch her and bring her to you. We have already landed on our planet. Think well, Peter Quill. When I return, she will demand your answer. Wait! Drax! We can talk about this! Great. Oh, I'm here, Rocket! Oh, thank Flark. Peter? Rocket? Why is my door locked from the outside? Yeah, Drax may have kind of joined the church. What? Seriously? I am Groot. I know, it's it, it's super messed up, Drax. Drax is kind of messed up. He also may have landed us on Sacrosanct to find the Matriarch. But don't worry. I may have an idea. The llama thing's been chewing through my wall. Cammy did? It has a name? If I can just squeeze through and get to the cockpit. You can release the locks. Bingo! Okay, I'm out. Any sign of Drax? Not yet. You. You know what? I'm actually glad this happened. Why? Why? 
Because I, Flarkin, told you guys that thing would... Done. Meet me in the rec room. What are we Flarkin waiting for? We gotta ditch this mud ball before Green and Crazy show... Rocket, stop. We can't just abandon Drax. Is he even still Drax? I mean, he's been converted. I know. Your M aunt is... Don't... Are you... No, no, I just... Any... Nope. Good. Then let's go find our friend. Oh, and how do you suppose we convince Drax to come back? Not sure we can get anything through that thick skull of his. Drax consistently believes and trusts everything he hears. Okay, fair. You got a point. Just want to make sure you're up for this. Don't matter, Quill. I'll try anyways. Okay, here we go. Not this place. You know where we are? In a Flarkin Lagoon? How many times I gotta tell you people, I don't like water! Hey, I didn't land here, okay? Drax did. Ah, this stuff is gross! Ah, uh, are you kidding me? Ah, wet fur is the worst! Fuck it! You all right? That's it! I hate water! I hate being wet! And I hate not getting paid! We're not here to get paid. We're here to save Drax. Guys, this is Lamentis, home of the priests of Pama. More religious nutjobs. Great! They aren't nuts. They're passive. Pacifists. That's even worse. Exiles from where? Hala. They escaped Creek persecution revolution ago. You know. Now they offer sanctuary and protection to those in need. And you were here before? I spent some time here to heal after. Never mind. It's not relevant right now. If Drax thinks this is the Matriarch's planet, something's off. The village is this way. Uh, tell me we ain't crossing above an ocean. Only part of an ocean. Uh. Don't fall, you won't get wet. Is there anything we need to know here, Gamora, about what we're getting into? Lamentus is a refuge. There are no weapons, no conflicts. The priests, they live in the now. They never accept promise. We've seen firsthand what happened. Uh. Oh. Found Drax. Where is she? Where is the Matriarch? No, she called. Rock in a little help here. Uh. Hi, guys. How did you... What? Oh, that. Lysa once taught me the art of striking one spot and many times. There's an arm fad. Don't worry, Green Meanie's fine. <clears throat> fine yeah. What are we doing here, man? I told him to come. On nowhere. I saw time inside his mind. The lies that bind. I mean, what's a girl to do? Whisper a course correct, obviously. Shh. It's okay. Stay with me. Quiet in the dark. Another one of your girlfriends, Quill? Oh, no. Come on. The creep. The what now? The creepy cave. 
Dark is an unknown. Futures I did see, because those were definitely bad. Very bad. You don't want to know- Can someone please translate her? I am Groot. The point is... Ready? Uh, the creepy cave. Yes, that's right. Big, strong heart. And in some, we save them. Here! And here we are, where the co- So, just to be clear, there's a timeline where me and you- Peter, focus. Right. Uh, what's a Katati? I am <clears throat> Uh, plant people, like Groot, but, uh, lame. The Kochati are a highly evolved, highly sacred race of pacifist beings who grace us with their meditative powers. They also guard the secrets of the ancient cave. Can they temporarily unguard it? Oh no, they take this duty quite seriously. Our only hope of entering is to appeal to their infinite wisdom. <gasps> Uh, what are we looking for in here? She doesn't know. Something that's gonna help Drax. We're all just taking the word of the space case. She's not a space... Ooh, spooky! Spooky is right. Uh, more like deadly. Are we sure about this? Nope. Maybe Drax just needs to sleep it off. I mean, he seems fine. Allison said that one in time. Everyone just remember we're here for Drax. Though, it would be easier if we had. Whoa! This place is really unstable. Lousy cave's gonna kill us all. Oh no, not all of us. Not this time. More water? What's wrong with this lousy planet? Doesn't seem that bad. Seems deadly and cold. What? Come on, Rocket. Blue water's not gonna hurt you. Death by drowning's actually quite common throughout Little Fuzzy's alternate future. I'm sure it'll get drier from here on out. Oh, you were tight? Yeah! Giddy up! Crap! That was kinda close. That one sometimes gets the more You're sure we're headed the right way, Mantis? I think so. Okay, well, it's too wide to jump here. We'll need to look around, find another way. Let's take a look through here. Maybe there's another way to cross. All right, Gamora, let's get up here. Why don't I just blast some of these rocks? Oh, no! I don't trust them not to kill us. What's your reason? I have seen so many futures where a little fuzzy dies in this cave. Rocket, feeling lucky? No, genius. Knock it loose and we got our bridge. Problem solved. Still ignoring the bigger problem. Knowing what we're looking for. Don't focus on what. 
Focus on how much he means to you. Drax has definitely been there for us before. Like on Seknarf. First time we got jumped by that tiger with the squid face. Oh, Stumpy. And the second time we got jumped by Stumpy. Uh, Mantis? Can you be worried about this fog? living on this planet. Maybe they weren't native to Seknar? And this is where Hellbender first got them? Or maybe Hellbender's here, tracking us across the ends of the galaxy. Lady H wants us dead. You realize what that means? We're all gonna die? I think I see what he's doing. It means we're a team. When we piss someone off, we piss them off together. I'm gonna assume that sounded better in your head. Water, fog, and monsters. What's the fucking deal with this place? There has always been a great power here. The priests tell tales of those who were here before them. What the fuck? There's two of them. Two of what? Mantis, do these things have anything to do with what we're looking for? Inconclusive. But I'm thinking no. What do you think, Quill? You best friends? Sick of this stupid cave. Who? Bug lady? You uh see something out there, Mantis? So many things, too many things. Shadows of a civilization that lived here once before. Forlorn faces that can see like me, horrors yet to come. And other shadows, too. Ours, not ours. A figure that's watching us now. Or was watching us then? I see rocks and, uh, crystal things. A statue that looks like a face and more rocks. I like yours better. I see something else. I see friends willing to die for another friend. Yeah, well, I'm hoping it doesn't come to that. Me too, Star Guy. We each need to face our fears. Some here, some not. But facing them is most important. You know, Running is sometimes good, too. 
For you, yes, Star Guy. But only until it isn't. You'll see that soon enough. No, wait, you should know that already. Don't you remember your dreams? How do you know about that? Dunno, I just do. Green Meanie's lost in an ocean of lies. We need to bring him ashore, but we also need to remain grounded in the positive. We're his lifeline. Positivity isn't exactly our strong suit. You always underestimated yourself, Gamora. Your bark's crawling. I'd almost jump into the water if it made the creepy crawly feeling go away. Ah, there's that feeling again. The fur on the back of my neck is sticking up. I feel it too, like a pair of eyes watching you. Over here. Green Meanie's lost in an ocean of lies. We need to bring him ashore. See that, Green Meanie? That's where we need to be. What else did the Katati tell you about this place, Mantis? Did they happen to mention the part where it's super dangerous and stupid to enter? Oh yes, it's very dangerous. Ancient, even. An ancient danger. I see something, but it's foggy. Oh, there's that feeling again. The fur on the back of my neck is sticking up. I feel it too. Like a pair of eyes watching. like rotten spike eggs in here. Found another way. Just me or them crystals look super dangerous. Don't worry, your fuzzy little head. You only die from a great fall in two timelines. This probably isn't one of them. Over here. Are you sure that's the right way, Peter? I'm sure that it's not, but let's not tell Star Guy. He needs to learn for himself. Rocket, think you can crawl in there? For what? So I can get eaten by whatever lives inside? The stone faces. Whatever we're looking for is beyond or beneath or behind one of the faces. What do you say, Rocket? I bet you can find us a way back there. Looks like there's something on the other side. Too bad Drax out of it. <coughs> uh, smells like rotten spike eggs in here. Okay, 